I was going to talk about, you know, the years of knowing I wanted to dress as a woman, but kind of fearing doing it. <laughs> um, and why was I fearful? I think the reason I was fearful was the society I lived in. It was the, you know, the 1970s in the north of England. And, um, you know, men were men, boys were boys, boys were not girls. But I was the boy that liked being a girl. <laughs> but obviously, you know, I had to suffer this in silence and um, not tell anyone. So this can continued into adult life and as you can see obviously now I do dress up as a woman. <laughs> it's pretty obvious isn't it? Um, but why was I worried about it? I was kind of fearful of people's reactions. You know, I really was fearful of people's reactions. But the other thing I was fearful about was I, I knew how far I wanted to go with it, <laughs> which is a long way. <clears throat> By that I mean like I wasn't content just to slap a bit of makeup on and wear a dress. I actually wanted to try and look like a woman. Um, delusional, but that's what I wanted to do. I'll admit part of me would love to be a woman. Um, so there's definitely a transsexual element to me, but I'm more transvestite, cross-dresser, whichever phrase you prefer, than I am transsexual. So I think the motivator is the transsexual aspect of me that kind of, gives me the desire to take on a female appearance. But I'm going to admit also, I actually really enjoy, you know, the dressing up. <laughs> you know, I love the kind of process of putting on makeup and a wig and, you know, putting on the, these are false, the false breasts, the false hips, um, and trying to create like a feminine silhouette. To me, I don't succeed in ever looking convincing as a woman but I keep trying I really keep trying because one day I hope to actually succeed but even though I'm a man when I dress up as a woman I kind of want to be a woman to all intents and purposes I want to convince people I'm female <laughs> well I don't think I'll ever manage that you know like I say it's somewhat delusional but I really want that you know I and when I've got all the makeup on and this, like this dress and the high heels, which you can't see, here they are. I just, you know, I mean, I love wearing shoes like this. Um, I know a lot of women complain about them, but, you know, I'm a cross dresser, so I can't get it back on now. <laughs> yeah, I've not got the finesse women have when it comes to dressing. Um, yeah, I, I worry that, you know, I'm just going for the trappings of femininity but it's dressing up and it's kind of performance as well because uh, I think I've mentioned this before um, when I was a teenager in the 1970s of the early part of the 70s because I'm 61 now I would occasionally see on television or in magazines female impersonators some of them who looked incredible as women and I was kind of bewitched by them and I remember like, you know, one of them was dressed up as a chorus girl with the, the costume and the big high heels and the long legs and all that glamorous makeup and the feathers and the glittery costume <laughs> and the long nails and, you know, jewellery. And I was kind of in awe and envious that a man would have the sheer confidence to not only dress up like that, but to actually walk out on stage in front of an entire audience in that costume and perform as a woman, but all the audience know it's an illusion that he's actually a man. And um, somehow there was a kind of legitimacy to it, whereas I feared being discovered that I liked dressing up as a girl. And it kind of made me think I, I too could become a female impersonator. I would love to have done that, you know, to actually, that be your job, dressing up as a woman. <laughs> it just seemed incredible as a teenager uh, that anyone could make a living from it. Um, so uh, I, I was kind of right up for it, but at the same time, I was too frightened to do it. And plus the fact, I don't have any entertaining abilities, so uh, I could never have done a stage act. But um, 
it's still kind of lodged in me that kind of suppressed sort of performer and um you know i still kind of secretly love the idea of uh, you know being a female impersonator basically i've become a cross dresser and um, i don't regret that although i still do worry about it you know it's amazing isn't it um but i do enjoy um dressing up as a woman one i find it a bit of an adventure you know it's i find it very daring as a man to try and take on a female persona uh, but the other part is i actually like being in a female persona um you know like right now i'm going to be honest with you i don't want to be a man i actually want to be a female <laughs> you know and um i find myself thinking things that i would never think of as a man you know uh yet i am a man dressed up and I'm not a woman. I was reading an article today, I'm forever reading articles on cross-dressing and female impersonation, and one of them said, what's the uh, the difference between a, you know, a cross-dresser or a transvestite and a transsexual? And the answer was a few months, <laughs> which is quite alarming. I don't think I'd ever do that, even though part at times that's all I want, that all I want to do is be, be a woman. But I know that feeling diminishes and I'm quite happy to be a man again. It's kind of a performance, and at the same time, part of me wants it to be real. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a kind of bit of an emotional roller coaster, but it's definitely a lot of fun. That, that's undeniable, um, for me anyway. I'm sure we all have our own reasons for cross-dressing. Part of mine is the fact that I never became a performer in where I played female roles. Um, which is kind of a job I know I would have liked to have done um, if I'd had the one, you know, the confidence and the nerve. I can't quite rid myself of some of the fear, even though I'm more accepting and more at ease with it all. And undeniably, I just love being feminine rather than being masculine. And it's kind of confusing. And even though I've had this issue all my life, I'm still not quite there in clarity. Um, some of you may be, which so well done but uh, me I'm still kind of struggling with it despite being more accepting of it and knowing when I actually do it like today I absolutely love how it all feels so cross-dressing yeah uh, fun rewarding but you know worrying at the same time I don't know how it'd be if I could dress at a more frequent interval um, who knows but I'm grateful that I can do it and I've got an agreement with my family that lets me do it and I can shave my legs and things so um, I feel I've got it pretty good on the whole and you know so uh, be interesting I'd love other cross-dressers to post videos about their own feelings and coping with it or situations and things so I just feel I need to speak because I cross-dress alone and in private and um this camera is my outlet <laughs> and if you're watching this I don't know how you're even putting up with my ramblings but there you go it's just uh, a chance for me to express feelings that I can never say out loud so these are rare moments rare that one I am dressed up as a woman and two I can actually speak to the camera about it but whatever you do if you know you're a cross-dresser you you can try suppressing it, but I don't think you can ever escape it. You really want to do it.